Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. Reddit is a social network that in recent years has exploded in popularity. Its user-driven content model makes it a great place to find news, humor, things you never knew you wanted to know, and some things you can never unsee. It's great! Much of Reddit's popularity comes from its notion of subreddits. These are nothing more than posts lumped together by a common person, place, item, or ideal. As an example, one of the most popular subreddits to date is r awe a subreddit filled with nothing but pictures of adorable animals. But what if you want to surf Reddit at work without drawing too much attention to yourself? Or what if you just want a cool way to surf Reddit that may impress a few folks that are less tech savvy than you? In this tutorial, I will show you how to surf Reddit for the command line. You'll learn basic Ruby code syntax, Reddit's JSON feed and how it will help you and your script run, how to parse the JSON feed and display it, and lastly, how to alias that script to a simple command in the terminal. Let's get started. The first thing you need to know is how to output messages to the terminal and how to get user input in from the terminal. These methods are known as gets and puts. Anytime you want to output anything to the screen, use the puts method and wrap the text in quotation marks. Anytime you need to get information from the user, use the gets method. You now need a way to store anything the user enters. To do this, you will use variables. To declare a variable, give it a name and then initiate it by following it with an equal sign and finally add a value to store in it. So something like this. So your first lines of code should look a little bit like this. In the first line, you're greeting the user and asking them to choose a subreddit. In the second line, you're declaring the variable sub and giving it a value of whatever the user types in. The chomp and downcase methods are just there to remove trailing white space and make sure the input is lowercase. It just adds a bit of consistency. The third line includes the variable anywhere in our output by using it as part of the string. To do this, you put a pound curly brace, then the variable name, and then close it with a curly brace. This is called string interpolation. Now that you understand a little bit about user input and output, it's time to learn about JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. In simple terms, it's just a great way to grab all of the data from a particular website, or one that at least has a JSON API in place, without all the extra markup or style. In the terminal, you don't really need style or markup, so you just need the data. So JSON fits well in here. Reddit's JSON API is dead simple to use. All you have to do is append a .json to any Reddit URL you normally input into your web browser. As an example, to get the r aw JSON feed, you just need to go to reddit.com slash r slash aw dot JSON. Instantly, you can see the JSON feed for this particular subreddit. However, you will need to use some Ruby third-party libraries. So to do this, open terminal and type gem install json. While you're here, you'll also need a gem called Faraday. So you might as well do gem install Faraday as well. At the end of each gem installation, you should see one gem installed. That lets you know it installed properly. Now that Faraday and JSON are installed, you can go back to your text editor and at the top of your file, require them as part of your script. Now that these libraries have been added and installed, we can add these next three lines of code to generate the URL, capture the response, and start parsing through the JSON feed. Once you've let Ruby parse through the JSON feed to grab all of the posts from a particular subreddit, you need to grab the top 10 of those posts and iterate through each one of them to display its title, its upvotes, downvotes, and its overall score. This is the code that will accomplish that task. If you would like to give yourself the option to open one of the posts in your default browser, go back to terminal and run gem install launchy. Then add it to the list of other libraries you are including by adding require launchy to the top of your file. After you require launchy, go to the very bottom of the file and add an option to prompt the user to open one of the posts in their default browser. Congratulations, your script is complete. Save the file in your documents folder as checkreddit.rb. You can now run the script by toggling to terminal and typing ruby tilde slash documents slash checkreddit.rb. And there you go. Being able to run that command is all well and good, but it would be nice if you could simply just type check reddit in the terminal and have the script magically run. To accomplish this, you will alias the word check reddit to that command. Type no and hit return to exit your program. 
Then type nano space tilde slash dot bash underscore profile to bring your bash profile up in a basic text editor. Arrow down to a blank line and then type alias check reddit equals and then the command you would typically run to run that Ruby script. To save the file and exit, press control X and then Y and then return. From now on, you'll be able to run check reddit from anywhere you are in the terminal. It'll ask you for a subreddit and you can choose any of the options numerically to bring it up in your default browser. The ability to see the top posts in any subreddit via the terminal is awesome. It allows you to quickly surf Reddit without drawing any attention to yourself. Along the way, you also picked up some basic Ruby and JSON skills. In this tutorial, I showed you basic Ruby code syntax, the Reddit JSON feed, how to parse it, and lastly, how to alias that script to a simple command in the terminal. Thanks for watching.